Why, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Ms. Yates, it's good to see you again. Uh, you know, we keep talking about General Flynn, whether he lied or not. Of course, President Trump said he did lie to, uh, among others, to Vice President Pence, and that's why he had to fire him. But, and uh, the last time you testified before this committee in May 2017, I asked about your decision as acting attorney general to notify White House counsel Don McGahn that then National Security Advisor Michael Flynn had been lying to multiple Trump officials, including the vice president, about his conversations with the Russian ambassador. You supported informing the White House, even though some others did not at the time. You stated that the need to notify the administration became clear as the White House issued increasingly specific and emphatic denials that Flynn had discussed sanctions with the Russian ambassador, which of course increased Mr. Flynn's vulnerability to blackmail. Do you believe General Flynn was effectively compromised? I, I certainly believe then and believe now that there was a risk of that compromise, and that's why it was so important to get this information to the White House so that they could act. And the conversations themselves were concerning, and that was a proper basis to be part of the counterintelligence investigation. But you have to balance the investigation also with the need to address the, the, the compromise threat that presented itself most urgently. And in doing that balancing, I thought that we needed to go tell the White House, White House right away so that they could act, and so that others who presumably did not know that the information they were providing to the American people was false, so they would quit doing that. And I think you were probably not surprised when uh, President Trump removed uh, General Flynn. But do you believe that by encouraging Russia to not react to U.S. sanctions, Flynn undercut our nation's response to Russia's attack on our elections? I do. I think that's one of the concerns, Senator. As, as I mentioned, the purpose of the sanctions was both to punish and deter. And when General Flynn was essentially saying, never mind on those sanctions, we're just going to move forward, um, that certainly doesn't send the message to the Russians that we want them to stay out of our elections. It undercuts our efforts. It certainly does. Thank you. Now, some of uh, Mr. Flynn's staunchest defenders have argued that because the FBI suspected Flynn may continue to lie about his conversations with the Russian ambassador, uh, he was entrapped when he was interviewed by the FBI. In your view, is it ever entrapment for investigators to give an individual an opportunity to tell the truth about an issue relevant to their investigation? No, it's not. And actually, here, the agents even took that a step further. They not only asked General Flynn open-ended questions to give him an opportunity to tell them the truth about what had happened in his conversations with the Russian ambassador. When he indicated, when he, for example, at the beginning, gave nothing but innocuous points that had come up and nothing at all about sanctions or about the United Nations vote, they then tried to, to help trigger his memory for him and used, reminded him of specific things, sometimes even using the exact language he had used in the calls. You know, if you're trying to set somebody up to lie, which I don't really know how you set somebody up to lie, you don't generally try to help them out like that. Yeah, you either lie or you don't lie. Uh, last week, the Attorney General claimed the Flynn interview was untethered to any legitimate investigation. One, do you agree with that? And do you believe a legitimate predicate existed to investigate, interview Flynn in January, given what you'd learned about his December calls with the Russian ambassador and his subsequent misrepresentations of those calls? Absolutely, Senator. Well, I believe that the most urgent thing was to notify the White House. Interviewing General Flynn was really right at the core of, of the FBI's investigation at this point to try to discern what are the ties between the Trump administration and the Russians. Thank you. Um, 
And the Inspector General informed this committee the only surveillance targeting any Trump campaign official involved Carter Page. I will submit some questions in writing about that. But can you speak to whether the government was specifically targeting Flynn with surveillance when it intercepted his calls with the Russian ambassador? No, the, the surveillance was not of General Flynn. I am still not permitted to tell you what it was. In fact, we checked with the Department of Justice just a couple of days ago before I testified because I would like to be able to specifically tell you what it was. But there was no surveillance of General Flynn. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, uh, Senator Lay.